Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Bro, I did not think that I was even gonna do a video today. You know I do my weekly recaps, but this episode, this episode was juicy. It was something else. It was something else. I was literally just chilling in my seat thinking that this was just gonna be like another dry episode like the UK is right now. And then, I, I'm sorry, I have to talk about this episode. Um, for starters, I'm not talking about anything else because like, yeah, everything else going on is interesting, but like, this is more interesting. Trina, bro, all I have to say is Trina has balls. <laughs> she has the audacity. What? All right. <sighs> I literally can't believe it. All I have to say is poor Cash, but like, oh my gosh, we all saw this coming. We all saw this coming from episode one when Trina saw Cinco walk in that door and she was like, Cinco, I usually go for that type, but they always do me dirty. We saw <laughs> that she was into him, but she tried to downplay it because she was all she was like already with Jeremy kinda and she figured Jeremy was into her but of course we see that Jeremy was just like a hot mess and look at him looking stupid now because Amy doesn't even like him like that but so now that she's not with Jeremy she's like you know what let me just go after what I actually want and she is really she not wasting no time she said I know we're friends Cash but like I like your man, period, period. So that whole thing after the recoupling, when they were walking away together, first of all, Cinco tried to downplay it like he wasn't with it, but we all knew he was with it. The sexual chemistry between them, oh my gosh, very apparent. So what does Trina do? She, she, you know, she shoots her shot. She's like, all right, look, I wanna kiss you. Let's kiss, let's kiss. This man, Cinco, he's flirting back with her. They're both flirting. They're both flirting. This isn't one-sided. This is both sides. Cinco then has the nerve to tell Cash in bed that Trina tried to kiss him. Sir, it is caught on camera that you were flirting back with her. That right there was sexual chemistry. I would understand if he was like just... You could tell that he didn't want it. He wanted it. So he told Cash to save his butt. <laughs> you know, Cash is just upset, which I'm just like, bro, when that happened, I was like, I saw it coming. I saw it coming, but I did not see Cinco. I didn't see it coming like with Cinco telling cash i didn't see that coming because like dude we see on camera that you're clearly flirting with trina but okay and so the next morning <laughs> so the next morning cash goes up to trina and is just like what the hell trina's like oh yes i apologize because i know that was not okay and then cash is like yeah you could have definitely came up to me and told me that you were into him could have had some sort of conversation don't just go up to him and just do all that when i am pursuing him right now and she was basically saying you wouldn't have liked that if we did that with jeremy and my thing is i feel like trina liked jeremy but i feel like she liked cinco even more but jeremy was just the safest bet for her that's my theory but otherwise like trina was so apologetic and i mean i thought she was actually sorry i thought the whole situation was deaded after she apologized and even cash she believed that as well she thought the whole thing was deaded <laughs> moments later she pulls cinco to the side tells him that she told cash like she apologized cash and then again starts to say i want to kiss you though i still want to kiss you i still want to kiss you and then Cinco's just like dang i like you i actually like you and then 
get this that that was not even like the worst part the worst part was they had the nerve to start feeding each other grapes and touchy feely right in front of cash that was like a slap in the face that being said i don't know where i stand with that at the end of the day trina along with everyone else is here for themselves they're here to look for love and plus, she brought the drama with that because that surprised me. Like, I couldn't believe she had the balls to do that. It was like, she started a war between those two. After that, yeah, Cash ain't messing with her at all. All of us fellow Black women watching the show were like, Oh yes, Trina and Cash, they're about to be the best of fr- I don't know about that. But then also, Trina was mad dirty for being that sly to Cash. That was considered your girl though, and you did it like that? That was not the way. You could have communicated to Cash first and be like, hey, I want to get to know him. I actually do have feelings for him. Y'all could have talked it out first. Like that's the issue with all these Love Island girls. They don't talk it out with their girlfriends first before like pursuing that person that's where they go wrong that's where the drama always starts so yeah i i was definitely pissed off at trina at the same time i'm just i just don't know how i feel about the situation though it's like yes i understand but also i was really pissed off at her i just couldn't believe it like i couldn't believe that was happening ah oh, man and then when cash started crying i was like you already know she wanted to whoop some ass. Oh my gosh. I don't... That was just a lot. That was a lot. Um, I'm not talking about anything else. I'll talk about the rest of what happened this episode in my weekly recap. Hopefully I upload that. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below on this episode. Because this was actually a wild episode. Um, yeah, season three of the U.S they're doing it they're doing it and make sure you subscribe to my channel as well i will be doing a weekly love island recap so please subscribe subscribe <laughs>